This is Pav Bamber here for PSB Sports. I'm at the first ever Next Gen show here today at York. JD NXT Gen. Not Next Gen, oh, NXT yeah. Gen. Shall, 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 shall Have again? you noticed that things were falling from the ceiling tonight? Me, look, look. look I know, have you seen that? Stay at that. Mate, what is that? I have, I have my computer out. It's a white map. But you know what happened? There was an Indian wedding or something. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know what sort of, like, they put something, I don't know, it went up and it's all started coming down. I was sitting with Joshua Bratzi and he was yeah. like covered in dust. Look, I know. Sorry, I'd like to say I'll buy you a new one, but. Yeah, me. Could you buy me a new <laughs> Ralphie bag, please? No, you mind? you've got to buy yourself one. That's terrible anyway. Oh, yeah? On some dirty student budget. I know, I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <coughs> um, talk to you about. Talk it's to good, wasn't it? You enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoyed really it. Good. It was good yeah, fights. I mean, How was fighting like for you? Yeah, I think that we're so blessed that now, aren't we, with these venues and like Manchester next week, Wembley. It's like, this is. Like I can't, I've been coming here since I was 10. So, I love it. And the atmosphere for the Higgins and, and the, the Richards fight, particularly, was absolutely electric. Two, two parts of London, you know, a couple of hundred fans from each side. Nice atmosphere, wasn't it? Didn't, you know, I never felt like it was like a bit heavy or anything like that. See you later, Anna. Yeah, team, yeah? Yeah, love it. Yeah. Anna, team, yeah? yeah. Priority yeah. subscribe, what's going on? Team, yeah? Team, Sky yeah. Priorities. Right. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, so... Never spot me, man. What's going on? No, I know, I know. Yeah. Um, no, they got me doing a presenting site for Sky because oh, I was yeah. free. First class free. I was free as in available and free as in no cost. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I really enjoyed it. And good news is all the boys got out. They learned. You know, some pass tests with flying colours. Some yeah. scrape through tests. And ultimately, I think everyone had a great night. Right, I'm on a flashing red, so I'm going to ask you as many yeah, questions as I can. Right, firstly, I saw Sky Sports News, Eddie Hearn, uh, breaking news, Eddie Hearn saying that Tony Bell, you might have to have hand surgery. Um, yeah. uh, update update on that. So he went to see Mike Hayton, who's very like well-respected hand surgeon. Yeah. It looks like he's fractured his hand, but they just hope there's no sort of de capsule damage. Yeah, yeah, sure. So in three weeks' time, he's allowed to tap the bag right. just to see if it's hurting. Okay. If it's hurting, they're going to have to open it up and have a look at, see what the damage is. Right. If he has to have the operation he may have to have, which they think he might have to have, he'll be out for five months. If okay. not, he'll be out for three months. It's kind of irrelevant anyway, because he ain't gonna box till October, November, December. Right. So, um, but, you know, we wanna make sure that he's fit to continue and, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're looking at various options at the moment. He's going on Ollie, having a great time and just enjoying himself. We saw Dillian White call out Tony Bellew yeah. on, on Twitter. Um, Bellew said he wants Wilder off the fight, he wouldn't mind fighting Parker. Mm. In your ideal world, Eddie, as a promoter, where would you like to take Tony? Well, you know, I said to him before, you have to decide what it is you want in your career. Do you put a value on challenging for the World Heavyweight title and potentially winning the World Heavyweight title? For me, that's legacy stuff, mm. you know. Um, do you just want the biggest paycheck out there? Those two might work hand in hand, you know? Do you rematch David Hay? A lot of the public want it. Will he ever be fit again? You know, so plenty of options for him. Um, you'd have to say at the moment, he's up there as one of the biggest stars in world boxing, certainly in British boxing. Mm. I'm just so pleased for him. You know, he's, he took the fight because he believed he could win, but he knew by taking the fight, he'd change his life forever. Yeah. And he'd secure his future future of his family mm -hmm. so he's done that and now he's free rolling he's cooking on gas it's like blimey I'm gonna live like a king for the rest of my life and I've got another one yeah and I might have one after that so it's great I'm so pleased for him because and, and one of the most pleasing things is people are starting to see the real Tony Bellion yeah, yeah like people just thought he was a loud mouth scouser and two or three years ago he wasn't particularly popular like my mates would go to me uh, Bell, he's a bit of a hot knob, isn't he? And I would go, do you know what? He really isn't. But now they've actually, because they've been exposed to him through all the shows, you're actually going, do you know what? He's a top, top boy. And he is. He's just a man on the street. He's just working his nuts off mm. to try and achieve for his family. And I think people are embracing that now. And pe people are really liking Tony Bell. Absolutely. And, you know, in terms of Bell, you did great, obviously, to, to, to get that victory. Where do you see he, he going from here? I think the only fight for Hay is the Bellew rematch. Yeah. You know, if he can't get there, I think he should retire. Okay. You know, I, I heard him come back and say, oh, I will be heavyweight champion. You know, he's got a long way to come back. You know, his next fight is not going to be for the World Heavyweight Championship. And until he's, um, you know, until he's 
puts the Bellew fight behind him. And there are unanswered questions from that fight, mm -hmm. even from Tony Bellew's win. Oh, you know, he only won a couple of rounds before the stoppy, before he got injured. But we said in the build-up, take the fight past six rounds, watch Hay gas, watch Hay break down. Yeah. Can't tell you I thought that his Achilles was going to go, but we did think his body would break down, mm -hmm. and it did. So it went kind of to plan, just not necessarily the way that we thought it would go. Yeah. But Bellew, if you watch it back, Bellew boxed so well in the fight, and uh, it took Hay's power. That was the most impressive thing. Update on Brooke Spence. Uh, we're looking for an announcement next week. Cheers, though. Um, it looks like May the 27th at Bramwell Lane. Okay, so that, that'll more or less be confirmed next week. Sorry, mate. All, the, all of that yeah, stuff will be confirmed yeah, next yeah, week. Yeah. Any updates? Um, anything else to tell us? Any, any other updates? Um, James DeGale, you know. You just want to hit tonight? Yeah, he's got a little injury, so he won't be ready till probably June or July, something like that. Um, but working on that as well, and yeah, just keep the big fights coming. So, uh, do you see James again moving up, staying no, at the same weight? Yeah. And he's going to de de defend the IBF title in a. Yeah, 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 looks to defend that. I mean, he's got a mandatory, he's got a medical extent, exception because he's had an operation on his nose, so you know, we have to look at that situation. But also, there's some big domestic fights out there for him as well. How's, it, how's um, AJ doing, Head of Klitschko? Good, training well. Six weeks tomorrow. And yeah. all the undercard announcements next week. Finally, will you follow me on Twitter? Am I not doing it yet? You have not done it yet? I'll do it now. Ed, I've done about 15 interviews today oh, and, I, and I won't get a single retweet. Right, your one is Pav Gill. Yeah, uh, what's that, sorry? Pav. P-A-V, S-T. S-T? S-T. Yeah. Number four. R. I've got here. Pav. Pav Bambra. Pen. Pav Bambra and then Pav in brackets. Right, there you go. Right, finally. Your one? Ryan. <laughs> <R -I -N. laughs> yeah. BNTV. So, Ben is always bugging you about Khan. There you go. Question is, will we get a retweet from this interview tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. We'll do it. Now I'm following. It won't be a problem. That's actually, but you know what? That's actually perfect because we've got about 15 interviews of pretty much every fighter tonight. So, Good. um, it'll be great. All right, mate. Cool. Oh, huh? I know. Can I pass you for another minute or so? Yeah, go on, mate. Take care, um, mate. See you soon. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate.